Hi guys, this is Andrew Holmes with uh, Chicago Flipping, Chicago's number one flipping show. And you know, every single week, we wanna bring experts, we wanna bring people in the Chicagoland area on the show that are doing some fun and amazing things. And uh, this week, we have two people that are not only uh, kind of started out as the listeners of the show, but uh, listened to the show, came out to uh, one of our uh, real estate association meetings, and have taken massive, massive action. So in the studio we have uh, Ms. Rawa and uh, Antonio, brand new investors, not brand new, Antonio wasn't brand new to the industry, but in terms of investing, uh, he hadn't really done investing our way. So today it's gonna be a fun show because we're gonna be talking to people who have just done some amazing things using the ideas, the techniques, uh, the whole host of resources that we talk about. So Antonio, without further delay, how are you? Very good, thank you, Andrew. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Great, good to have you. Thank you. So, uh, Antonio, kind of, where did the journey start? I know you used to listen to the show once in a while, and then where did that journey start? Well, you know, um, sometimes I start listening, and I and actually, you know, I, I was listening to you, and then uh, you know, I started checking on on Meetup, and you know, I saw that you know, Chicago Rio was one of the biggest uh, you know investor clubs, so I said, well, let me take a look at him. Uh, and you know when I see what you guys were doing, um, you know it makes sense to me. And you know, say I, I tell you, know, if I want to learn from somebody, let me learn from these guys. Right? Okay. So you kind of saw that we were one of the biggest uh, organizations, right? Uh, as far as investing in real estate locally, and then you came. Yes. And not only did you come, you decided you were going to work with uh, me, with Rahul, with Lori, with our entire team, one on one. And you've taken the idea of uh, 257, which is two properties uh, in five years and get them paid off in seven. And you've been flipping properties like crazy, right? So before we get into that, what was the reason that you were stuck? You had been a loan officer before, right? Yes. What was the reason that you were stuck and what got you unstuck? Uh, you know, like everybody else, um, sometimes, you know, your thinking doesn't let you see, um, you know, ahead. So my thinking was, you know, um, yes, I have the credit and I know a little bit, but I didn't have the money. So, uh, you know, that was a, a belief that, you know, I I broke when I came to the to the uh, you know uh, RIA meeting because mm -hmm. you start talking about, you know, you don't have to have everything together. You know, you can do partnership, you can do this. So that was a, a brand new idea for me, and I've been you know doing that. So, um, you know, that was one of the biggest thing for me you know that I can do this business without you know having a lot of money you know? right so because I mean the whole point of real estate is this that it's the biggest equalizer that there exists right which means that we don't come into real estate necessarily having the deals having all the knowledge having all the money having all the credit right because if you had everything guess what and if you had all the knowledge you'd be doing it, sure. right the yeah. whole point was so uh, from your perspective what you would say is that what you learned was, okay, how, even when I don't have some pieces, how do I put it together? How do I find people to partner with? How do I actually make deals happen? Would that be correct? Yeah, that, that's correct. And and one of the things, you know, and I hear some, uh, you know, a good friend of mine, you know, saying, you know, uh, you have what other people want, you know, and other people have what you want. Okay, so hold on, hold on. <laughs> let me repeat that in English, right? <laughs> yeah. So you said you have what other people want, and other people have what you want, That's which right. is makes for a great partnership. In real estate, if you have the deal, you have the willingness to work, you have the willingness to get the rehab done, not work on it, but get the rehab done. Yes. Then you can partner with somebody else for credit, you can partner with somebody else for uh, money and make the deal happen, correct? Exactly, yeah. Great. So, that's, so yeah. having said that, now, it's been about two, two and a half years, you've known me, Right. Yes. Uh, you've been coming out. You've been uh, doing a lot of loans. But besides that, how many deals have you done so far? Um, I think I'm in the eleven deal. Eleven deals. And, okay. And, and are they all flips or are they all um, rental properties? What are they? Um, most of them, but uh, they're flips, and most of them are being you know partnerships. Okay. Uh, and my idea, you know, right now is that I, I want to build a little bit of capital. You reserves. Know, yeah, reserves sure. before I can get into into the rental market. Sure. Uh, because, you know, uh, what I've been learning is that you have to have a little bit of reserve, sure. you know, because if something breaks or something, 
So I don't want to be in the you know in the position where I go I'm gonna do um, rentals that I don't have you know capital build up. So that's what that's my thinking right now. Let's say. Okay, got it. So basically, the first thing was let's do a few flips. Let's get uh, earned income going. Right. Yes. That's a way to make money. And then you, the next thing now is coming is the long term rental properties. That's correct. correct. Yes. Okay. So let me kind of uh, go to Miss Rama. So, Ms. Rava, uh, I make fun of you all the time, right? <laughs> uh, but, I mean, one thing I respect about you very, very highly, because just like Antonio, uh, Antonio's biggest uh, thing could be as well, I, don't, I didn't have enough money, right? Uh, my English is not the best in the world, right? Yet, I mean, so there can be so many obstacles, right? There can be so many things that, oh my God, I don't have this. Yet, what he came after he kind of hung around us was, uh, and what he learned was that my obstacles are what they are, right? I can't change them, but how do I find a way forward, right? Mm -hmm. When you started the whole process, right? You were listening to the show, you show up one day at uh, uh, one of our uh, real, estate, uh, real estate association meetings, right? Chicago RIA meetings. Uh, what happened at that point? I attended the first meeting, right. and I was very impressed with uh, how many people and how many information I got from that and uh, from there I said that's it this is what I want to be this is the group that I want to work with and that's it set my goals and start working okay so did you have um, your background in terms of uh, uh, were you uh, married were you single did you have all the time in the world what was the situation you came in with uh, full-time mom with full time mom. Full time time. Uh, full time mom with two children. Two little kids. Uh, that's correct. Uh huh. Yes. So I didn't have the the time really. Uh, Twenty four okay. hour. I work with them. Okay. Yeah. So in real estate, you need a deal, right? Yeah. You need the willingness to work. Mm -hmm. You need uh, credit, and you need money, right? So uh, you learned hanging around us, working with us, how to find a deal, right? Right. That was number one. Correct. Number two was. Uh, that uh, you were willing to work, put the time in, and put uh, whatever it took to get it done. Exactly. Correct. But you had a challenge with that you didn't have the money, even though you found the deal, to really do the first deal. Correct. And you kind of used similar type of strategy like Antonio did, which is you borrowed the money. So who did you go to to borrow the money? I went to friends and families that they trust me, they know me very well. And uh, that's how I got my money uh, from friends and family. Right. So for the first deal, I think you bought it for sixty or seventy thousand dollars, right? Seventy-three. Not a, yeah. Seventy-three at yeah. auction um, in uh, DuPage County, and for that you got twenty or thirty from uh, I think some family member, another twenty or thirty from a couple of brothers friends and mother, yeah. br brothers and mother. So you kind of hobbled all the funds together. Correct. Okay. Now moving from that, right? That was deal number one. And that was about uh, two and a half, three years ago. Two years ago. Two years ago. So from there to today, right? You're following 257, which is t uh, two years, a minimum of five properties, get them all paid off in seven. But you've exceeded that, which is what is kind of really, really exciting, right? Yes. So how many properties uh, are you at right now? I just have the number nine accepted. Number nine in two years. That's correct. Okay, yeah. number nine. So what is, uh, in our uh, world, we talk about something called cash flow, which is how much do you make every single month, right? In terms of profit, after you pay all your debt service, you pay everything. Yeah. So on your properties, on the eight properties that you already have, right, how much money does that uh, net you every single month? Approximately, not exactly, but approximately. Uh, five of them are rented already, okay. so I'm getting uh, 3750 from three of them, okay. I mean five of them, uh, all net. Okay. And now I have uh, two. I signed the lease yesterday. Okay. Um, that's probably gonna bring another, another two thousand for all eight of them. So it would be a total of, um, three of uh, five five fifty. Okay. Five, so basically, I mean, you're gonna say about yeah. about you're making five hundred dollars per property. Right? Yeah, a little per, bit over. A little bit over. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, so you have very strong rental markets that you're in, right? right. Good schools, strong rental markets. And uh, so a little bit over. So even if we just said, say, 550, right? Yeah. At 550 times eight, right? Mm -hmm. That's a pretty good chunk of change. It's close to about $5,000 every single month. That's net. 
that's net, right? Mm -hmm. After all expenses from now to the rest of your life, and it's only going to get better, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, you realize how much money that is, right? Yes. Right? Yes. So, I mean, I know you have a big smile on your, <laughs> uh, on your, uh, on your face, right? Which is, because, I mean, think about it, $5,000 times 12, right? right? Any which way you do the math, I know you come from Iraq, um, I happen to be from India, but, uh, you know, uh, any which way you do the math, that's 60000 bucks a year, exactly. right? Yes. So, it's, it's really, really good. I mean, you could have worked a job long, long, long time and not created that income yet. Following direction, using the right techniques, you were able to put it together in, I mean, two years flat out, right? That's right? So what do you say to people that are like you or that are like Antonio that say, you know, I don't have all the things in place. Mm -hmm. What do you say to them? What is the first step? Because I think the determination and the tenacity with the right approach is what you both of you have. Exactly. Well, if you are motivated to do something, set your goals and move forward. Uh, surround yourself with positive people and people that they know more than you. You will learn and believe me, you will get there. Right. And I mean, a lot of times I have, uh, in, uh, you know, as much as we love you, I've made fun of you because a lot of times you were clueless of some of this stuff, right? But I had no idea. Right. Of things, of course. And, and uh, you truly were clueless, yet you had faith and you followed through, even though there were some stumbling blocks, obviously, right? Exactly. But one thing that I highly had respect about you is you've never been afraid of work and you have followed through. So anything. You want to add, Antonio, to people who may be new and they're like, oh my God, I hear all this crazy stuff on TV, how I can get rich overnight. And we're exact opposite. We're like, guys, there's no such thing. It takes time. It yes. takes a little bit of time, yes. but over a short period of time, you can accumulate a lot, correct? Yes, that's correct. You know, <clears throat> and not just, you know, time, you know, it takes a, a commitment. You know, um, I was talking to Laurie, you know, a little ago. And I'll say, you know, sometimes I need to spend my weekends, you know, uh, renovating a house or going to a class or do other stuff, you know. So it's a commitment and it's time, you know, uh, but no success, you know, come, come with, without this, you know. Right. Uh, people think that investors just, just, oh, yeah, I'm just an investor you know, and right. I'm making all this money, but they don't see the, the behind. But it's, I mean... It, it can be done. It's okay. just, you know, you just need to put your mind in, in you know, the thinking that it can be done, you know, without all this, you know, um, without money or without credit. Right. Um, you don't have to have everything set up, but you just need to commit and work. You know? Right. And, and this is what I want to point out, because I think you guys are classic examples of this. Right? Even though for you, time was a big issue. Kids is a big commitment, especially when they're young. Right. Uh, yet you took that and you're like I have no other choice right you have uh, no other choice so you're just like I'm gonna do whatever it takes and I think there's five things right there's a, a deal there's the willingness the entrepreneur somebody who's gonna push the deal forward make everything happen and then there's the money and then there's the credit and then there's somebody who's got to do the rehab and the beautiful part about this uh, real estate is this that the front end of it which is you know finding a deal is something that's learned, right? Uh, people can come to Chicago Ria and learn that, right? You can learn uh, the willingness and the motivation. We can kick you in the butt, we can try to motivate you, uh, but that's something that you have to have that inner desire, right? And the third one is that you can always hire somebody to do the rehab for you. You don't have to do any of the work. Mm -hmm. sure. The beautiful part about real estate is the number two and number three. You can always partner for somebody else. So as we kind of wrap up the show today, what do you say to people, because a lot of times uh, we'll have people call in, they're like, oh my God, you know, we should have called in such a long time ago, right? Uh, what do you say to people in terms of taking action? What would your uh, final thought be in terms of, uh, is it something that's going to rub off by osmosis or do they need to act today? Today. Today is the time. If you're not going to do it today, then when? Ask yourself, when are you going to do it, you know? Set your goals and move forward. Today is the time and uh, surround yourself with people that are positive, moving forward with you and start now, start okay. now. Great, good words. Antonio? Um, you know, it's the same, you know, people doesn't take action and as you know, you know, Tony Robbins says, uh, your life can change in a second, you know? When you take the action to do something, then it's gonna change. 
And if you, you think, well, I'm gonna call or I'm gonna go to this meeting, well, you need to do it and, and just show up, you know, and, and start learning because otherwise, you know, things are not gonna happen, you know. So I, I think it's it's the, uh, you know, we have a motto, which is, so strategy matters and passion rules. And that is that you have to be passionate, you have to take action. And on the other hand, you have to have the right strategy. So guys, right. thank you so much for uh, being here today. We always uh, love uh, having not only people who uh, start as strangers and become uh, fellow investors and uh, personal friends. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Chicago Flipping with Andrew Holmes will return next Sunday at 12 noon. For information or questions about content of this show or to speak to Andrew, call 844-MONEY-55 or visit chicagocashflow.com to learn about upcoming seminars. That's 844-666-3955. And be sure to tune in next week.